Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Today I'm going to be comparing two very different G-Shocks. One that's cost about $100 Australian dollars, and one that's about $1,000 Australian dollars. Now these prices do vary, and it depends on where you buy it from, but it does sound good for the video, $100 versus $1,000. Now these watches are two very different watches for very two different types of people wanting to buy them. However, I thought it would be very interesting to put them side by side and show you what you actually get for $100 and what you get for $1,000. I also want to say a big thank you again to Chen for allowing me to borrow his Mudmaster so I could use it in a couple of videos. Okay, so let's flip the camera over and let's put these watches side by side. So here's the two Casio G-Shocks side by side. Obviously we've got our Mudmaster on the right and the DW5600 on the left. What I wanted to do is just to get a general idea of what we're getting for $100 versus what we're getting for $1,000. So let's run through the general dimensions of these watches. The case dimensions of both. We're looking at 57mm versus 43mm. The widths of the watches is 18mm versus 12mm. Lug to lug of 67 millimeters versus 55 millimeters. We have 120 gram weight versus over half the weight of 54 grams. They both come supplied on a resin band. The Mudmaster is four millimeters wide versus a three millimeters wide of the DW. So both of these watches have a few things in common. They obviously both have the protection to shock and resistance, both being G-Shocks. They're both 200 meters water resistant. They have stopwatches, countdown timers, and alarms. They also have some similar constructions of the resin bands and the stainless steel case backs. You can see quite a difference in the tang and buckle, as well as the keeper, both the quality and the thickness. This one being signed, this one not so much. However, they do both say Cassio underneath, this one being made in Japan, this one being made in Thailand. So obviously there are some differences between this watch. Obviously the price being $1,000 versus $100, but we're also talking about a sapphire crystal with AR coating versus a mineral crystal. This watch also has a heap more features, and we might as well put this one down to talk about those. It has a compass. It has a altimeter, it has a barometer, and it also has a thermometer, and it has a world time feature. Now, two big differences is how the light works on these. And now I'm going to switch the lights off to have a bit of a better look at that. So now that the lights are off, you can see that the Mudmaster has some loom, and the DW has no loom. The Mudmaster has a dual rear light. Whereas the DW has an electroluminescent backlight. And that's the two lighting systems side by side. So there's also quite a difference in the general quality and feel of the watch. The Budmaster certainly feels better. The band here versus the band here is much nicer, much more tactile. Certainly feels like something of quality versus it does feel a little bit cheap. Now, I don't want to say anything bad about this watch, I do like it, but there is a big difference between the two of them. When on wrist, the Mudmaster has a lot more presence, obviously being a lot bigger, as well as being a lot heavier. And also, there's some very significant difference between those buttons. So there's two very different Casio G-Shocks side by side one from their lower end of the range, and one from the top end of their range. I really wanted to put them side by side to show you what they look like, as well as the similarities that they share, but then show you what all those extra features are that you get for that extra $900. Thank you very much for watching. I'll flip the camera back over now and give you some final thoughts. Well, there's two very different G-Shocks for you, put side by side, comparing both the quality, the size, the look, and the features and the specifications. So it's probably unlikely that when you're jumping onto the Casio website to figure out which G-Shock you want, that your budget is gonna vary from $100 through to $1,000. 
but it was nice to actually put them side by side to get a feeling of how different they are at the different price points. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope to see you in another video. See you soon.